seemed genuinely happy to see us and meet us and get to know us. Jeremy used to, me and him used to fight, so I paid Jason to <laughs> beat him up. <laughs> yeah, somehow Jeremy ended up in twice as many fights, because he'd fight Patrick, and then I'd fight him for fighting Patrick, and then he and I would fight. <laughs> That's the good thing about having three. When you get mad at one, you can hang out with the other. Mm -hmm. When you get mad at that one, you can hang out with the other one. But now you guys are close. Yeah, now very close. And our mother, actually, before she passed away, yeah. she said, uh, uh, you know, uh, the closest thing you'll ever have are your brothers. Can you take it to heart as you get older? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have no idea how similar my life is to y'all's. You have no idea. He told me about y'all's mom and your dad, and I literally almost started crying right then because I've never dated someone that knows exactly what I went through, mm -hmm. ever. That was a huge bond for us because I lost my father when I was 21. Really? It is. It's a huge yes. bond that you share with someone because no, unless you've been there, you cannot possibly yes. know what that what that's like. But do you want to have a little girl time? Absolutely. Okay. Uh oh, <laughs> well, we can have a little boy time. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I've been most excited about with meeting Deanna tonight is that she shares with Jeremy the same things that I share with with Jason and losing a parent and that has brought Jason and my relationship together. And so I know for a fact that for Jeremy and Deanna, that is gonna be a void that nobody else can fill but each other. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty. <laughs> um, I need to know some dirt on Jeremy. Okay. He's so um, perfect. Everything is so perfect about him. I've never had perfect in my life, so I'm kind of, I'm a little scared. He is an amazing guy, I have to tell you. So sweet and sensitive and thoughtful. Yeah, and, and he's one of the few guys that completely opened up to me. The fact that he opened up to you says a lot to me. I don't know many people who Jeremy has opened up to, and then yeah. I'm awed by that, that he thinks that much of you and has that much trust and confidence in you. What do you think? I think she's great. She's very uh, down to earth and really personable and, you know, country girl. It's tough to completely, you know, gauge everything over just a single meet. In the back of your mind, how can you not think that she could be having similar feelings with, you know, several other guys as well? That's the difference. Like, I just don't think about it. I've got to feel that I am the only guy that she is talking to. Because the second I start imagining her with other people, the second their relationship starts creeping into mine. And so I just completely deny that's even taking place. But maybe that's not healthy. <laughs> maybe it's not. No, real, but you but... see where we're coming from. If no, of course. Works. For us, it's an impression. Of course. Okay. I'm going to be guarded for you. We're just cautious, you know. We'll be there to pick up the pieces if that's the case. And if that's the case, then I will definitely have you guys for that. Because the last person that broke your heart was mom. Yeah, that's true. This whole process is, is difficult to take. So I'm, I'm, I'm cautious with Jeremy's feelings. It's due to what's happened to us and this barrier that he's built uh, around him. And he understands that I understand it. So when I give him a hard time about something, he knows I have good intentions. But I'm going to question every step he makes. That's my role. Me and my wife talk a lot. Yes, we have a lot in common. Um, yeah, she's very easy to talk to. What do y'all have in common? Um, what do y'all have in common? OK. <laughs> Um, she was just telling me a lot about Jeremy. We're, we're on one side here. Yeah. We're not on your side. We're on Jeremy's side, okay? We get one chance with you, okay? And, and then in two weeks, you know, she's gonna come back and we're gonna be told, this is the person I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. Yeah. When I know you from one night. I know. Uh, this is very hard um, for me. And... Because, you know, you know, you're there and, yeah. you know, you kind of get it from our perspective is, you know, we're cautious. I had some time alone with Jeremy's brothers and they grilled me. For the first time, I got sweaty palms and was really, really nervous. One of the things that's important to me with whoever Jeremy ends up with is that they've got, that person's got to get along with all of us. You're not just committing to Jeremy, you're committing to us too. It's most important for me that y'all know that I am very sincere about this. I'm putting 100% of my heart into this. It's not a joke to me. And I have very, very genuine feelings for Jeremy. I care about him a lot. I've never met a person that I have more in common with than him. And family is the most important part to me. I can promise you that. 
because not only am I close to my brother and my sister, they are my life. My main concern is coming into this, I had all these qualities that I look for in someone and I have never met that perfect guy. And when I met Jeremy, he has all these qualities. He is that perfect guy. He is everything that I've always looked for and I am scared to death of that. Wow. Well, then I guess that is the question. <laughs> The question is, is how do you overcome that fear? I know. I'm trying. So then, Patrick, the only thing that can go wrong here is that she goes, well, Jeremy's perfect, but his brothers are quite... Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that Jeremy's brothers just don't want to see him hurt. He hasn't really attached himself to another woman since his mother passed away. And they're just being protective. They want the best for their brother. Bye. Love you guys. Bye, y'all. See you later, chemo. What do you think? Ah, uh, they're great. They're all great. This was huge. It's not just you meeting my family, but it's you... you seeing where you could fit in. And that I do... You know, not just want you, but I do need you. Wow. That was kind of heavy. Wow. It was. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much has all the qualities that I look for in a husband. He is determined, he's caring, he's loving, he's affectionate. I think that if Jeremy and I were to get married, I would fit into his family very well. Everything just fits right into place and it just seems so meant to be. I don't know how this could have worked out any better. Tonight, the hometown date, Deanna meeting my family, and we fit, we just fit. I don't know how else to describe it. She is definitely the girl that I want to spend the rest of my life with. I'm in my hometown of Seattle, and today's the day I finally get to take Deanna out and show her my home. It's been a while since I've seen her. I'm really excited to spend the day with her. We've had one date where we've been able to spend some time alone. And I'm really looking forward to doing it again. Really am. Oh, how are you? Oh, oh, so good to see you. No, it's good to see you. You know that thing, like, distance makes the heart grow fonder. I feel like I was really starting to get to know her, and then I had to take a break, and I missed her a ton. Yeah, you know what this is? No, I don't. You have no idea what that is? No. Have you ever seen it before? No. It is called the Space Needle. What do you think? Should we go up and check it out? Yes. <laughs> we went to the tippy top of the Space Needle, and it was VIP. No one gets to go to the top where the very top needle is. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. We got up there, we came out, and it was the most beautiful view I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the Puget Sound. Ferry boats kind of drive through here. This is Lake Union, where Sleepless in Seattle is filmed. I went to the little house movie. Yeah. And I live on the other side of the lake. It's yeah. definitely good to spend some alone time with Jason. I was hoping for something to be there. There was a kiss, and it was absolutely romantic, and I was very happy to be in his arms. But I am a little worried today, because I am going to meet Jason's son. I have never dated anyone with a child. It's a new experience for me. So after this, we're gonna go and see Ty. Okay. He's in his pirate stage, so he's just gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if there's anything you're worried about, it should be nothing. Okay. I mean, like, what, what would you be worried about? I'm just nervous. You know, it's different than meeting someone's parents. Yeah. Like, your parents have an opinion, but this is, like, your son. Like, your yeah. parents, you can be like, oh, whatever. I'm gonna yeah. date her anyway. But yeah. this is your son, you know? It's, That's your awful. life. How many more kids do you want? You already have Ty. How many more kids do I want? Mm -hmm. Well, I come from, there's three of us. Uh, so I guess I've always thought three. I have a brother and a sister, and so I've always thought three. Yeah. It, just, it just seems natural, like you got a bigger, I mean, stuck in the middle, right? Yes. So when you think kids, you still think three kids? I still think three kids, yes, before I'm 30. Three I want to be a young mom. Three kids before 30. I, I and I'm 26. It seems like you got a lot of ener energy in it. Um, I just want a big family. I don't know. My mom always took really good care of us and taught us so much, and then she died when I was 12, so I feel like I want to have a child. I want to give that to a child. You told me so much about your mom and your experience from there, and uh, everything that you think you were able to learn from your mom, 
you're going to just be able to pass along that times, maybe times three, it sounds like. You make them into such little people, you know? Yeah. I want little people. Like three little people. Mm -hmm. So what do you say? You want to go to time? Yes. Thanks for bringing me here.